Hey there, Tall Man Clan. We are back in Virginia. No, we're not. We are in Cookville, Tennessee at Cookville RV and Marine. I think we have to leave after today. Oh, it's been great. Anyway, we're looking at a Montana. This is a 2021. This is the uh, 3781 RL. So come on, let's go. Let's look. It's our last day. All right, so we're starting up here in the front. Look at the storage, y'all. It's like a bedroom. <laughs> at least a dog house. <laughs> right? It, it's that big because this uh, model has what's called the drop frame. Let's see if we can get down here. See the steel beam down here? So that frame is lower than the rest of the frame. See how it ends there? So it's welded beneath it. It allows you to have much more storage up in the front. I mean, it's just tremendous amount of storage, of course. And it's got the slam latches, which is awesome. All right over here. Three foot propane tank. This is your propane tank. You know, I say that more than propane. I think I'm just gonna call it protein. It's protein. Right next to the storage, if you wanna mount uh, an outdoor TV, there's a spot here for it. So it can stay permanently mounted in its own cabinet, which is awesome. Uh, as you can see, central vac, which is cool. Um, over here, step above steps, which is great. Um, it does have upgraded uh, uh, suspension. It's hard to see from here. We'll see if we can check it out on the other side. Um, if you pan up, Lisa, um, both of the awnings on this side, or excuse me, both of the slides have awnings over them. And then you have additional awnings that covered the rest of the side to give you shade if you wanna be hanging outside. So um, I love uh, the RVs that have the awnings that cover the, the slides, just extra protection, okay? Come on to the back. All right, so uh, again, frameless windows on this model. Love the frameless windows. Um, if I didn't point it out on the side, if I did, well, frameless windows. As you can see, there's a ladder already mounted on there for getting onto the roof, which is great. Pre-wired for your Furion backup cameras. There's also a hitch here on the back if you want to carry some different accessories with you or whatever. And uh, just note your power connection is right here in the back as well. So come on, come on to the side. Go over to the side now. So yeah, I'm not going to be actually able to show you the, uh, the suspension because it's underneath the slide. It's, it's a little rough. Get underneath there, but... I don't know. Maybe Lisa can get it. It's a road armor upgraded suspension. Okay. There she goes. All right, your sewer connection is right here. And there's also a pole there for it. There's also, when we get into the wet bay, there's two more poles in the wet bay for your other tanks. Okay. Um, I love the separated wet bay. All right, so in case there's a leak, uh, you know, it's all contained. It just would go out the bottom, which is awesome. Okay, uh, there is no, um, I don't see a, uh, a water filter in here. So we'd have to add that uh, additional, which is simple. That's what we do in our RV. We just add it sort of aftermarket, which is great. Your other side of the storage, again, huge storage, which is just awesome, right? The slam latches, which again is on struts. So it holds it away from the slide. God, that just sounds so solid. All right, here's your uh, other propane tank, propane tank. And um, it does have a six point hydraulic level up system. So all you have to do is hit the button, which is actually behind this controller right here, okay? So I, I really like that it's there because you're right with your tow vehicle when you're putting uh, uh, putting the uh, RV on and off, right? So uh, it's great to have it accessible. Um, let's get close to the numbers here and take a peek at that, Lisa. All right, so this has a 16,600 pound towing capacity, right? Or, or gross vehicle weight, I should say, right? 16,600 pounds. Um, cargo wise, you can put 2,940 pounds with a cargo in this sucker. So you can carry nearly 3,000 pounds of weight. There's one other thing I wanna show you. See this little uh, side light here? It's actually pre-mounted for a 360 camera uh, from Furion, so, um, which is kind of really cool, I think. Come on up to the front. Speaking of road armor, it's got an upgraded road armor pin box, okay? And there's some additional storage up here. This is sort of where your bat batteries go. So it's not really storage, this is really a utility cabinet. It's where your hydraulic uh, tank is and a pump for your level up system, okay? Some wiring and stuff in here. So I just call that my utility closet. Over here, and there's a little latch right there. All right, so if you wanted to install a generator, this is where you would have your generator installed, okay? If not, it's just gonna be additional storage. So let's go inside now, come on. Doing laps, doing laps, doing laps. What do you think? Look at this sucker, right? This is, I mean, huge space 
back here. Um, it just, you, you can tell from the length of the island. Back, back up, Lisa, back to the door. See how long this island is? This is a really long back area of a fifth wheel. Just, it, what it ends up doing, it gives you a gigantic kitchen, right? Your, your, your living area is about the same, right? Uh, two sofas and a beautiful entertainment center. But this bar is huge. This bar has got to be seven feet long. Pretty darn close to it. And on the flip side, tons of space on the other side where the stove is. But we'll look a little bit more at that with Lisa in a second. So in the back here, cabin tree above, which is great. Um, nice sofa here, this pulls out to be a bed, okay? You've got some nightstands, you've got power on either side, USB plugs as well, which is great. Very comfortable sofas, okay? On this side is sort of your, your theater, your theater chairs, excuse me. This pulls down. Oh yeah, command center. You got some power there, USB, great. We put that away. Again, obviously these are all electrified, so hit a button, the chair goes up or down, or heat or massage, the whole nine yards, okay? I love, there is actually a lighting control switch right here. It's actually dimmable. So if you're gonna have movie night, and you want to dim the lights, or you know, just dim the lights. Look at that. Woohoo! Come on, sit down here, Lisa. Let me dim the lights. <laughs> bow chicka bow wow. Anyway, alright. So across from here is the entertainment center, guys. Big TV. Most of the fifth wheels these days, this is about the size TV you're getting. It's uh, 55 inches, about standard these days. Uh, beautiful fireplace underneath. Uh, it's got a sound system already installed as well, which is very, very cool. And there's some storage above as well. So if you want to put, uh, oh, I don't know, it's whatever you want to put up there. <laughs> the heat's get to me. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon here and it is hot. It is, it is. It's like, Before we go anywhere, look at this detail. Oh yeah. Isn't that nice? Oh yeah, with the, with the glass there. Yes. Yeah. I thought that was beautiful. I just wanted to show it. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, this island is, is huge. It really is gigantic. Yeah, solid surface. You have your uh, 30, 70, 70, 30, whatever. I always get backwards. You've got your big sink here. Um, yeah, tall faucet. This is great. Love it. Yeah, absolutely. I just, I love it. All the storage underneath. I mean, cabinets, drawers. Yes, look at this. Here's your trash right. on that one, right? Oh, yeah, it's just, oh, and trash on this one, too. Look at that. So, so probably recycle, yeah. yeah. But just storage everywhere and under this island. That is Feeling awesome. Space. Look at all the prep space here. I just, on yeah. The sides of the, the stove. Yeah, this is gourmet cooking in here. Love it, love it, love it. You got your little uh, wine bottles. Um, you spot three wine bottles up there above the uh, convection microwave. Convection. Yeah, you got a three burner stove. Got an oven. Again, storage both sides. Let me get a look in there. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Right? And what is that? I don't know. What is that? Pull it up. <laughs> oh, it's a tower of power. Why does that happen? I, I don't know. Why does that happen? I don't know. Dare I tell you there's another one over there? Tower of power. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know. Maybe it's the musician in me. I just can't help it. Uh, maybe so. Maybe so. All right. Now, let's see. A beautiful GE residential refrigerator. Right. Which means there's an inverter. So when you're driving down the street, the, the refrigerator stays on. You got plenty of power. Mm -hmm. Everything stays cold and fresh. Now, this is what confuses me. So I'm looking over here, and there's two doors. Hmm. All right. Pause in the video. What do you think's behind this door? Everybody think about it. What do you think is there? You have your thought? All right, let's check it out. It's a washer and dryer space. Did you get it right? I bet you thought half bath. Did you think half bath? It's a washer and dryer. This is, I think, the only RV we've ever been in that the washer and dryer is in a separate area, not in the bedroom or bathroom. It's literally like in its own little area. It is. I love that. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was a half bath. Yeah, we've seen comments from people about, you know, the, the washer dryer being in the bathroom. They don't want all the, the bathroom stuff dusty or in the bedroom. They don't want in the closet. They don't want all their clothes dusty or dirty or whatever. Yes. Guess what? That doesn't happen in here. No. Separate area. Yeah. Okay. The one next to it is just storage, but it's also where your control center is. All your manual controls for your slides, your awnings, hot water heaters. I mean, the whole nine yards is all right in there, which is awesome. Above as well, huge storage area goes all the way back. You've got a cool little stair rail right here if you need to hold on to something while you're climbing the stairs. And then, <laughs> you know what time it is. It's time for Tom and Toilet Test. <laughs> well, need I say more? <laughs> I will, just a little bit. Uh, for those who don't know, I am six foot four. So please use my height as reference, okay? Um, porcelain foot flush toilet, as you can see, uh, it's just plenty of space, guys. Okay? Uh, double, double vanity here, which is awesome. This is not solid surface like the kitchen is, okay? But look, because it's double vanity, there's all kinds of storage underneath, drawers for stuff. You've got sort of a cabinet in between the sinks, which is awesome. And then you've got his and hers vanities, okay? Uh, again, uh, you can see from the, the bottom of my lip down. So I just have to scooch just a little bit, okay? But there's, there's tons of room for all the stuff that you need in here. Behind the door, I'm gonna take this from Lisa for a second and just lock her out. Behind the door is cabinetry for storing your towels and linens and things. So there's plenty of room for everything that you need to store in here for your bathroom and stuff. So let's climb in the shower. Okay, as you can see, my head's up in the bubble. Even if it wasn't in the bubble, I just, I mean, as you can, I'm just, I can't get my finger through there. I'm just touching. So at six foot four, here, I'm just touching. Here, I got plenty of space, okay? So for you people who are above six foot four, I know there's a bunch of you watching, uh, you're plenty fine inside the bubble, okay? The shower head's in a decent place. Um, you know, it's a little tight left to right. It's not bad. I've been in much tinier ones, uh, but lots of front to back space. You got a little bench here if you want to take a break while you're taking a shower, you know. Um, the only thing I don't like, of course, is the glass doors. We did a video all about it. Just check it out, okay? So let's go in the bedroom. Check that out. Here we go. What do we got going on in here? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is a beautiful king-size bed. Um, there is some storage underneath, I believe. Yes. Nice storage underneath there. There's some extra chairs for your dining room table down there. Okay, that's actually, you see the core, uh, the, the hose for your uh, central vac. Okay, I'd find a different place for that, but beautiful king bed. There's power left and right. Um, nice headboard behind here, okay. Um, you do have in here your day-night roller shades. All right, for those who haven't seen it, that's what the day one looks like. It's kind of like a meshy material. So during the day, if you still want light in and still be able to, to see outside, but not having people see in, use the day shade, okay? At night, then if you want complete privacy, use the night shade, okay? Obviously, we're also looking at a bit of a wardrobe area here, your dresser, okay? There's a TV already pre-mounted as well. Just really nicely done. Some, some countertop space up there, okay? Um, I didn't address my height up here yet. Again, uh, you can see I get uh, all four fingers up there, so is that about three more inches, so about six foot seven, six foot eight, probably max, okay? Without ducking, that is. Here is your front, uh, wow. Let's see if I can open both so we can go side to side. There's a little dresser in here. Is this a hamper? That's a hamper, Lisa, look at that. Nice. I love that. Yeah. All your great. dirties in there, <laughs> that's great. All right, and there's a bar that goes all the way back and forth, so really generous. Uh, closet there's power in here if you want to I guess I've seen in a lot of RVs they have like a, a shark type vacuum even though you have central vac some people use just a shark for quick little ones maybe you charge it in there I don't know um, power wise there's also a power outlet down there towards the ground on that side of the bed as well so there's plenty of access to power in the bedroom of this fifth wheel so speaking of this fifth wheel let us know what you think specifically the uh, the laundry, the washer dryer right here in the front. I absolutely love it. I think this is probably one of my favorite things that I've seen, really. 
absolutely cool. Uh, guys, uh, if this is the first time you found our channel, thank you so much for stopping. We appreciate you. You guys all know what to do. Smash the button, hit the subscribe, all that fun stuff really helps us out, okay? For all the Tall Man Clan, you know what we think of you. God bless you all. Until we see everyone again, be safe.